So the weekend comes and you decide you're going to get ahead of things. You want to get the chores done, you want to read some manga, get ahead on some comic books, you know, get everything in order so you can sit down comfortably and just work on your videos. And you do that. You, you get it all done. You, you get ahead on your to-be-read list. You get um, the kitchen clean. You get the vacuuming done. And suddenly you notice it's 4 o'clock on Sunday night and you're like, CRAP! <laughs> Damn it! Yeah, that's how my weekend is going. How is yours going? What's up, everyone? It's Carrie, aka Nerdy Girl Creates. Welcome back to my channel. It is Manga Monday, and you know what that means? It's time to look at some manga. But before we do that, I need to remind everybody, please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. We're close to 600, and I'm hoping by the end of the year, maybe we'll finally make it to 1,000. Let's pray. Let's hit that button. Please share. <laughs> I'm making no sense right now because I am exhausted. If you saw my opening, I've been doing a crazy work schedule, plus training on top of that, so my mind is mush. It is mush. But... Despite all that, I'm here and we're going to talk about some manga. Today we are going to look at a, another psychological drama. Um, in the past I reviewed Blood on the Tracks, which I am still enjoying. I mean, that is a crazy roller coaster ride, let me tell you. Um, I am also lo was looking for something that focuses more on adults in the sense that I love rom-coms, I love... Um, I have no problem with, like, romantic stories, but it seems like a lot of them tend to focus more on the, uh, teenagers and high school life. When I find something that's more adult-oriented, I jump on it, and this is one of those. It's a combination of what I like with psychological dramas and kind of a romance, but this one's one twisted romance, let me tell you. Um, it focuses on... Well, I should give you the name first, shouldn't I? I said my brain is mush. My brain is really mush. We are talking about Something is Wrong with Us by Natsumi Ando, and this is from Kodansha. It focuses on, uh, it focuses on Nayo. She's a 21-year-old Japanese uh, girl who um, is a sweet maker, and she takes after her mother. Um, she's been vying to become very successful in the business, but something from the past keeps haunting her. And, um, unfortunately, it kind of puts um, an obstacle in her way of becoming a successful sweet maker. Now, what am I talking about? When uh, Nayo was a kid, Nayo was a kid, <laughs> her mother got a job as a sweet maker for a very, very um, well-respected family, and they lived on their residence, and now became friends with their oldest son, Subaki, and something occurs. There's a murder, and Subaki, to everyone's surprise, points at Nayo's mother as the last person he's seen in the room with this, the victim. And next thing Nayo knows is her life is like thrown a mist. Her mom is sent to court. She dies. She, uh, Nao is now living with people she's no no that well and she grows up haunted by this um a chance encounter has her um once again meeting Subaki but it appears he doesn't know who she is but she knows who he is and they're um competing to be the sweet maker for a wedding um Dio was invited there because the bride happens to be in love with her sweets and wants her really to be the one who does this. Um, Subaki's there because uh, her the bride's gr bridegroom's family wants somebody who is well respected and from a long le lineage. And of course, we all know who gets the job, right? Um, but even though Nio doesn't win this round, uh, Subaki makes a very uh, strange proposal. <laughs> To her and surprisingly she uh, accepts uh, he asks her to marry him <laughs> which makes you wonder does he know who she is or does he want to use her um, because of her skills given the fact he is now a um, top-of-the-line sweet maker 
and he is now in charge of the family business. Um, she shows up at his residence on the date he tells her to come. He's in the process of marrying someone else. No, I'm not kidding. <laughs> but, of course, he puts a stop to it the minute she appears. And his mother disapproves. His grandfather kind of stands up for him, but kind of sets an ultimatum. And you begin to wonder uh, his motivations. Now, you understand what her motivations are. Uh, before she meets Tsubaki again for the first time, she gets a letter from her mother that says, I didn't do it. So she sees this as an opportunity to try to investigate what really happened and find out who's behind it and why Tsubaki, you know, accused her mother of being the murderer. However, uh, feelings are going to develop from what I understand. And, um, it's going to make things really, really intense and interesting uh, because the way this volume ends kind of clues you into something on Subaki's side that maybe he's not as naive as he thinks you think he is about now. Again, I can't talk. <laughs> this is why you don't wait to Sunday night to do your videos, people. Do them first, then do the chores and everything else. Um... Yeah, what did I think? This is, yeah, this is intriguing. I'm already hooked. I mean, if you follow me on Instagram, I already kind of let the cat out of the bag by saying I will definitely be reading more of this. Um, I think I have volume two on the way. I think there's right now 12 volumes out, so I do have to do a lot of catching up. But that's right, I have a lot of series in my collection I have to do a lot of catching up on. Oh, I'm going to need another, like, building just for my manga collection soon if this keeps up. I really need to get control of my obsession with manga. But it is really good. It's a really good psychological drama. Um, and you, you begin to wonder, can um, if now that Nayo is back with Sabaki and these feelings are developing, can she put it to the side to kind of, like, find the truth out about why her mother got accused, who really killed the person who um, was murdered in the beginning. Um, what is Sabaki's uh, motivation to bring her back and to marry her? Uh, does he know she's Nayo, the girl, little girl from the past? Or does he um, have other reasons for doing this? Because he's a lot colder than he was when he was a kid, and you'll see that. I think whatever what happened also affected him negatively. Um, he doesn't have the greatest relationship with his mother. <laughs> She's not the nicest person either. But it, it is it does leave a lot of things you want to know more. And I love this type of story. It's it keeps you involved. You as long as it stays on track and it doesn't suddenly ruin it with some stupid move. I mean, because that's happened to me a lot. But so far, I've heard people who got up to 12 still enjoying it. Um, it's like Blood on the Tracks. I'm still enjoying that, too. There was a moment that slowed down a bit, but then it just reared up. And, yeah, I, I love mysteries. I really do. And then you throw in this, like, um, very um, unusual romance <laughs> element. Is, uh, yeah. Mm. Let's see how that works out. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I have a bad feeling this is not going to end happy in a way, because, I mean, depending on what, what motivated Sabaki in the beginning to do what he did, uh, I don't know. We'll have to see. Uh, but it is a good story. Now, art-wise, I know I, I'm skipping to art at the last, the last minute, but the art in this is really beautiful. I do like, um, the style um, Sakura seems to be a theme throughout it because, um, when the two main characters meet as children, he thinks her name is Sakura, and he calls her that, and it's probably why he doesn't, right off the bat, know she's Nayo. Uh, and, like, there's a scene when they're making the candies to compete for the wedding job. Um, Sakura is a theme again in it. And I'm wondering how that's going to tie in overall, but it, it's beautiful how they incorporate the designs. The drawings of the characters are very beautiful. I mean, uh, Sabaki is now supposed to be a really handsome adult. Um, and Nayo is supposed to be like this come off very naive and innocent look, I guess, to appeal to him. 
that maybe he can manipulate her. I'm not sure. But the, the art is really good. I do like the art a lot. Um... What age range would I say this is for? I would say maybe older teens and up because there is like um, depiction of murder and there is some psychological abuse in a way. Like I don't want to get into that because it'll spoil too much. There is um a bit of that happening in here. There's um a lot of much like very <laughs> high tension within Sabaki's family with the remaining family members and. You know, Nio in the middle of all that. But I would recommend maybe, um, like, older teens and up. I don't know if anybody younger this would be suitable for. Um, I haven't seen anything like nudity or anything in it. There's not really, like, a warning label on this, like, explicit. I don't think. I don't have it here to double check because I'm an idiot. But, <laughs> oh, I need more coffee. But... I do highly recommend Something's Wrong With Us. I think it's really good. I think it's, you know, if you're looking for something more um, like a mature theme with a murder mystery, with elements of romance, I, this would be it. I would recommend it. I know I'm hesitating a lot, but that's because my brain is short-circuiting. <laughs> do not do your videos last minute on a Sunday. No. Uh, I promise I won't do that again. But, uh, yeah, something is wrong with us. Now, on to the manga deals. You see, my brain is not working. I would like to, once again, recommend Takara Cafe. Takara Cafe has a wide selection. They are getting in a lot of box sets, uh, especially if you've been trying to catch up on the One Piece. He's got those in. Um, there's a lot of uh, new volumes he has. But one thing I always like to mention to people with... Um, to car cafe is he does get in some out of print volumes that are hard to find there's some of us who are trying to go back to um the wonderful early 2000s and find series that we missed out on or we remember but never had the chance to collect uh i would say go to Takar cafe see if he has volumes in stock of the series you're looking for because it could be there plus i have a five percent off coupon right down below please use that and the, use my affiliate link down below if you're going to go to Takar Cafe. Again, I'd also remind... Uh, see, I'm telling you, it's frying out. I'd also want to remind everybody that Tuesday nights is Otako Tuesdays. Me and the squad talking some manga. Maybe we might even mention something about that whole common Rider incident. <laughs> oh boy, that was something. Yeah, so Tuesday nights, 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Check it out join me in the squad we're always having fun so yeah <laughs> i don't even know how to end this my brain is so dead something is wrong with us natsumi ando from kadansha go to takara cafe to see if pick it up there um if you please don't forget to like share and subscribe i no i'm not drunk i'm just like losing my mind um Please go ahead, comment down below. Is there anything else similar to say something is wrong with us or even like Blood on the Tracks that I would be interested in? I am definitely looking for more stories like that. Um, also, if you have any other type of recommendations you think I'd be interested in, go ahead let me know down below. I would like to tell everybody, once again, thank you for getting us close to 600. Uh, hopefully by the end of the year, maybe we'll hit that thousand. See, maybe if I hit a thousand, we'll do something special. How's that sound? In the meantime, have a good day, and I will see you on the next video. Bye.